This person paid $250 for one 14 inch pizza. A few months ago, a brewery owner was like, I'll pay $1,000 and you can sell the pizza. People don't just pay a set price. These people give $50, $70, $100 and more. The thing that I've learned from Crust Fund is that Chicago loves pizza so much and they love the community organizations that we support so much that they will meet a stranger in a dark alley at night for a pizza they haven't had. The brake light illumination is a powerful aesthetic. <laughs> and if that's not love for your fellow man, I don't know what is. Back it up, back it up, back it up, baby. I am here for my first ever crust fund pickup. It's amazing, right? You get to pick up pizzas from an alley. The Chicago alley has a very bad reputation, both nationally and locally. We're taking it back. We're turning this alley into a force of good for the community. And also, I don't have to give strangers my address. I'm John Carruthers, and I am the proprietor of Crust Fund Pizza. I've never worked in a pizza restaurant. This was like legitimately just a dead hobby that became my thing. <laughs> Crustfoot Pizza is a monthly pop-up where I make pizza with my sister and some other friends, collaborators for different nonprofits in Chicago who do really great work in the city, making the city a better place. Places like The Tribe, My Block, My Hood, My City, Connections for Abused Women and Their Children. If there's a really great organization doing work in Chicago, we want to support it. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thanks for coming out. It's also important to note that I don't take any money for the pizza. I front the ingredients, I donate my labor. When you buy a pizza from Crust Fund, you give that money right to the nonprofit of the month, and then you just shoot me a screenshot of the donation so I know how much we raise every month. This is Sam Gibsal pork belly, prepared by my friend Dennis Lee with Chicago-style Italian fennel sausage. It's Jordan to magic in the 92 Olympics. I might be Christian Leitner, but either way, it's a pretty damn good pizza. This was my pandemic pivot. I started making pizza to mark the weeks. You know, I'm sitting here in my kitchen, not going into work, sheltering in place, hoping for something that isn't bad news. If you're me, you think, I'm one person with very few skills who only makes pizza, you know, what can I do? So if the only thing I can do is make pizza, I decided the only thing I would do is make pizza and push money to the places making Chicago more equal, more just, and a better place to live. The way this works is that I create a different menu every month. Pizzas to the first six, seven, eight, ten DMs, uh, depending on the month. You can financially impose your will on the situation if you like. The last pizza of every single crust fund drop goes to the person who will bid the highest, and it's always for pickup on Thursday evening, after my kids are down, which is why we're talking quietly. People pull up to my undisclosed alley and they have the shadiest pizza transaction of their life and hopefully they enjoy it. And we raise a lot of good money for people. That's what Crust Fund is about. All this money goes directly to the places you want to support and none of it goes to me. Cause you know, I've got my Ninja Turtle shirt, got my ovens, I don't need anything else. Mm.